If you are someone who likes to rely on free Wi-Fi hotspots around the country, then this video is for you. Today I'm going to review and, sh and show you how to set up a product called Wi-Fi on steroids. It is a Wi-Fi extender, so what this means is that it allows you to connect to a Wi-Fi hotspot and then move farther away from it so that you can still get a good signal but don't have to be right next to the building. This product is um, $60 and you can get it at wifionsteroids.com. You can also pick it up at Camping World, but who's going to Camping World right now? They're all closed. So in opening up the box, it's very simple. It's a really simple product, actually. Um, so it comes with instructions. It comes with the actual device, and it is really light and really small. It comes with an AC plug. The thing that I don't like about this product is that it doesn't have USB connection, but it's really simple. You just pop it in, and you can see it's not very far off. You're not gonna turn it very much, and you're gonna press down really hard and turn it until it clicks. It has antennas, and it also has an ethernet connection. Um, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to restart your computer. Yes, I want to restart it now. Alright, now you're going to type in your unlock code or your unlock password. And then you're going to connect to the local free Wi-Fi. So this is the McDonald's free Wi-Fi. I've already connected to it, so it's possible that it's not going to ask me again. Um, yeah, it looks like it's not going to ask me again. So usually with McDonald's, the first time you log in, it's going to um, have you accept the terms. All right, so now you're going to plug in the Wi-Fi on steroids. And turn on your inverter so that it is inverting. Once you plug in the Wi-Fi for steroids, you're going to reset it. You're going to put a paper clip or a toothpick or a SIM card pusher into this little reset button and you're going to feel it depress and you're going to hold it for five seconds. And that will reset the Wi-Fi on steroids. Once you've done that, you can go back over to your computer in the network settings and find the wireless N connection. Okay, when you have the green screen, um, now the instructions say to go into your browser. Um, I find that this works as well, so you can hit the submit. You're gonna do the wizard. You're gonna do wisp and continue. It's scanning for open signals. You can see this box here doesn't show me all of the whole screen. I need to move it over just a little bit to hit the select for the McDonald's free Wi-Fi. And you can change the extender um, name here if you want to, or you can just leave it as McDonald's free Wi-Fi EXT. So um, that actually confused me the first time I tried to set up the Wi-Fi on steroids. So if that confuses you, um, having the two that look so similar, you can change that up. And I'm gonna hit apply. Okay, next you're gonna go into the extended network because we want to set up a password. So you're going to go into, you're going to open up a browser. I use Google Chrome. Okay, you're going to go up to your bar here and type in 192.168.1.254. And here you're going to see this Again, this is big now. You're going to hit submit. And you're going to go down here to wireless. And you're going to, you can just triple click on, on the SSID the, in the top box. And that will allow you to change the name. So I'm going to put Joni's Secure. 
and the secure I'm gonna leave the channel alone I'm gonna change the security to the WPA and the security key is going to be um, test one two three four it needs to be an eight character alphanumeric okay so now it's gonna switch to this while it finds your new network I'm gonna come up to your network settings again and you're gonna select your new one so this is Joni secure and you're gonna type in your new password. Of course, you're not gonna use test one, two, three, four. You're gonna use something that actually is secure. Important piece here. So once, once you've changed this, you need to unplug the device and plug it back in. Then you're gonna wait for it to, to be available. It can take a minute. And then you select it. So now you're on your new Wi-Fi connection and it's password secure. Once you've set up the extender, you can then move away from the building. So what I've done is I've moved to the next parking lot over and I started out pretty far from the McDonald's. And while I could get some signal from the McDonald's Wi-Fi through the extender, it wasn't strong enough or fast enough to actually do anything like stream a video. So I decided to move closer to the McDonald's. Still, you know, I'm in the next parking lot over. I'm not right at McDonald's. And I was able to get a great signal through the extender. It was fast and strong. And still, I wasn't able to get any signal on the McDonald's actual Wi-Fi without the device. So it definitely is working. Now, remember, you're gonna have to hook up your, your laptop or your phone or whatever to the free hotspot before you set up the extender and move away from the building. So you're gonna have to, um, to be close enough to get that at first, and then you can move away. And you know, this is great for, if you're traveling and you've had a long travel day and you just wanna stop overnight at a McDonald's or a Home Depot parking lot, but you're, you know, you're not quite ready for bed, you wanna maybe stream some Netflix. I really hope that helps. I've also written out the instructions in the way I write instructions, and that's down below in the description for the product. If you do have problems setting it up, the number for tech support is right on the very front of the device, so you don't ever have to go hunting for instructions. It does come with instructions, and there's also an instructional video on their website, but I actually struggled with it, and I'm kind of techy. So hopefully my video helps you if you decide to get this. Um, if you do decide to get this, or if you already have one, mention it in the comments below and let us know how it's working out for you. If you liked this video, you, if you got something out of it, give it a thumbs up. If you know someone who needs to see this video, be sure and share it with them. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. I also want to thank you for your thoughtful comments and questions. Keep them coming and I will do my best to respond. This is Joni with the Galavan. Enjoy your journey.